jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. What's up, guys? It's Joe. back again with another video. It is currently Monday, August 27th. Uh, it's about noon right now. Um, today, I will be bringing you guys another beautiful day of uh, Camp Yale. Classes do not start until Wednesday, so we're still out having fun, getting everything prepped, getting everything ready. So hopefully today we'll give you a good little peek into what that looks like. So I'm really a big fan of this whole little time period before classes start that we like to call Camp Yale here. It's a great time to figure out what classes you want to take, prepare for the semester, but also just like reunite with old friends because it's been a long summer and we're all super excited to be back. And it's just been so great seeing everyone again on the streets, saying hi, catching up, because everyone here had an absolutely amazing summer and did something crazy. So it's, it's just cool to catch up. One of the biggest time sucks during Camp Yale though is blue booking. Now, if you don't go to Yale, you're probably like, blue booking, what's that? Well, here at Yale, our course selection program um, is called the Yale Blue Book. They actually just changed it this year, but everyone still calls it the Blue Book. So it's a Yale Blue Book. Basically, it's an online reference that has every single class that Yale offers, what time it's offered, the professor, and then it also has a great section where you can read through evaluations of the class from past students. And have just a bunch of other great resources for choosing your classes figuring out how you want to be successful for the upcoming semester. So obviously, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little peek into what I've been researching so far, what classes I'm thinking about. Obviously, nothing's set yet because Yale has shopping period where for the first two weeks of class, you can take any classes you want, go to as many classes as you want, and try to whittle down your schedule to the four or five classes you're actually gonna end up taking each semester. So, let's get into it. So obviously, you guys know that I don't have a laptop currently. I think I explained that to you guys in the other video. Um, the laptop that I had originally received that you guys saw in the video had a bunch of dead pixels in it, a bunch of ports that didn't work, so I had to send it back after I edited as many videos as I could. Um, I'm still currently waiting on my laptop to get delivered because Dell sent it to the wrong address. I, we've been like trying to work through the whole customer support thing. It's been a mess, but. I don't even think I'm going to have it before classes start, but that's a whole other story. For right now, uh, I've been blue booking on my phone, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'll probably screen record and let you guys into what it actually looks like. Alright, so I've got it pulled up right here. Uh, maybe we can do a little bit of a fancy zoom transition. We go one, two. So as you guys can see, this is what my course worksheet currently looks like at the moment. It's a lot of classes. This is eventually going to get whittled down, but let me explain to you the little bit of a problem that I ran into when I was picking my classes. As you can see here, Intro to Electronics is from 11.35 to 12.25, but also CS223 is starts at 11.35. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to find some way to choose between those two, which is just very unfortunate for any EECS majors because it will set me back a couple semesters, but I'm gonna figure that out. Uh, just to give you guys some ideas of the other classes I'm looking at, we're looking at Intro Architecture for Humanities Credit, Law, Technology, and Culture, which is like a social science lecture on the intersections between law and technology. Uh, obviously a electrical engineering class in communications, computation, and control, that should be fun. And then, of course, my RTC class. This is what the schedule is probably going to look like. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little peek into like what it's like choosing classes here at Yale. It's it's pretty cool. I didn't show you any of the like evaluations or anything, but there's a lot of information on that website, mainly just because I'm trying to do it through a phone, which doesn't work very well. But there's a lot of support here, a lot of help. Um, and with that, I actually have to get to a little bit of a get together with all of the, the Camp Kesem counselors. As you guys know, I was a counselor for Camp Kesem this uh, about two weeks ago now, um, which is a camp, a free summer camp for kids whose parents have been affected by cancer. It was a phenomenal experience. I will probably be making a video talking about that experience if I haven't already, because it was absolutely life-changing and humbling, and I've just never done anything like it. But anyways, I have to go get ready, so I'll see you there. You see, throughout my time at Yale, I've really come to value the, the activities, extracurriculars that allow me to meet more people and really get to know them on a deep level. And uh, Kassim was one of those things for this this past couple weeks. I mean, I was only there for, what, 10 days and 
I feel like I made like three new best friends. All right, we're out here, Camp Yell, part two, sophomore year. We're with my boy, Jack Mitchell. How are you doing, Jack Mitchell? I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself, Josh? Dude, I'm doing great. It's great to be back. Great it's, to see all the boys again. It's wonderful to see everybody. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's fantastic to be back on campus and, you know, see everybody that I missed over the summer. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Jack's got a little caffeine in his hand. Gotta perk up for the night. A little it's, coffee. It's gonna be a good gotta night. Gotta get going on a, you know, Sunday night. Monday we'll see night? what happens. Monday night. It's a Monday, Monday night. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this vlog is going to be pieced together, but it should be good regardless. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> As always. I mean, what what isn't fantastic that I put out, you know? Josh I'm, never uh, puts out anything unfantastic. Top-notch content all the time. You guys know it. Make sure you follow, subscribe, and like. Beautiful. Oh. We're in Saybrook and now we're in Branford. Now, now we're in Branford. You Hold think on. You know the say about Saybrook. What? It's right next to Branford. It is right next to That's, Branford. Yeah. Where's the Where's the Branford yeah. Tower? Can we get it on vid? Uh, I think we can. There it is, Harkness Tower. Look at the moon in the background. Look at that shot. Hold up. We'll hold that for a second. But just a bunch of guys being guys. Just dudes being dudes. Dudes being dudes. dudes. Drew, you have anything to say? Josh Beasley. Like and subscribe. Like, like share, subscribe, comment. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's all we need. That's all we need. That was great. <laughs>